Okay, let's talk about the uh, low body warm ups. Okay, once you have a good posture and good rotation of your shoulders or good coiling of your shoulders, right? Make sure, pay attention on my right hip. So, I brought this form on my right side first, so my foot is pretty close to the form. And then the show that gives me a bit of a spacing on my right hip and the form, right? And then that's obviously you know what you want to be to start with. And then proper you know the proper you know the uh, shoulder rotation, good cause you know right hip, right hip slowly rotate, but I keep the space as it is, just like that. But uh, incorrect hip rotation could cause this called the sway hips. Then I need to sacrifice my spine angle, just like that, as opposed to this. So pay attention when you call your upper body, keep your lower body rotated. However, you need to save the space. But if you happen to your hips a bit tight, sometimes when you try to call your upper body and the hip don't want to turn, either could it cause it that way or you're gonna sit back like that. That's obviously too much space. Something like that. All right, that's clear. However, on the downswing, if you're right, sorry, if you're right-handed, and then after the good coiling upper body or turn the shoulders right on the low turn, you wanna end up like that. Back show, fill up the gap. The space, fill up the gap. I call that external rotation of the hips. However, incorrect lower body rotation end up this way. I call the internal hip rotation. You don't want to be internal, you want to be external. External brings the lateral shift. And you're gonna end up this way. One more time. Here, oops, external. 